Rappers are just like normal humans who go through tough times. Some are strong enough to go through it and put it in the past, while others are not. Rappers tend to speak about their feelings more by writing them and making them into a song. Lil Loaded was one of the fast rising rappers in America who dealt with certain unbearable issues before he died. Keep watching till the end of this video to see how the final 48 hours of Lil Loaded went. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Interact with us, subscribe and hit the notification button to be notified when we upload more content. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks. Lil Loaded, Final Hours. On the 31st of May, 2021, Dallas-based rapper Lil Loaded passed away. Although very sad, the news of Lil Loaded's death didn't come as a surprise to fans, as in the last 48 hours of his death, he shared a personal message that suggested that he would die. The rapper's legal representative, Ashkan Mariari, announced the news of Lil Loaded's passing to several news outlets. In a released statement, he wrote, Sadly, the rumors are true, and Mr. Robertson did pass away today. The cause of his death was unknown, and several rumors were floating around the internet about it. Many fans referred to the short and final message Lil Loaded shared, and they tried to figure out the last few hours of Lil Loaded's life and how he was feeling at the time. The short message was allegedly shared on Lil Loaded's Instagram page a couple of hours before the report of his death hit the media. His message seemed like a conversation with God, asking for forgiveness and granting him easy entry to heaven. The post read, Dear Most High, please forgive me for my shortcomings and all of the times I fell short of making you proud and being appreciative of all the blessings that have been put in my life. Lil Loaded continued, Sometimes the lines are blurred between being solid and being heartless. I want to thank you for how far I've come and the people you've put in my life to keep me grounded and humble through everything. And I love every single one of those people that are genuinely for me. I ask for entrance into your kingdom through all of my mistakes. I know you love all of your children and I'm ready for my heart and soul to join you. A week before his tragic passing, Lil Loaded released a video for his single, Hard Times. Hard times, gotta know they ain't forever. We done had hard times, gotta know they ain't forever, the rapper sang. Stay solid, Lil. You gotta know this shit get better, he added. In the same track, he went on to rap about the fact that he was the most hated in his city, and that everything ain't glitter and gold. The track was released shortly before Loaded posted a final Instagram message saying he was ready for his heart and soul to join God. How Lil Loaded died. After the news of his tragic passing, the cause of death was announced and according to reports, Lil Loaded had committed suicide. The law enforcement in Cedar Hill, Texas, responded to a call made by Lil Loaded's mother to report an attempted suicide. However, when the police got to his residence, he was found dead and his mother was outside crying. She led the police to the scene inside the house where Lil Loaded's lifeless body lay with a gunshot wound on his head. When she was asked about the possible cause of his suicide, Lil Loaded's mother claimed that the last time she spoke with her son, he was upset over a breakup with his girlfriend the night before. Lil Loaded ex-girlfriend speaks. The rumor of Lil Loaded ending his life because of his ex-girlfriend went viral, and fans on social media turned to call her out, blaming her for the tragic death of the rapper. Lil Loaded's ex, known as Nicole, had to come out and speak for herself while rumors about her cheating on Lil Loaded had spread around the media. She shared a post on her Instagram page where she asked people to stop accusing her of being the reason why Lil Loaded killed himself. She wrote, This is getting out of hand, and I gotta clear this up. I'm completely sorry for what happened to Deshaun. The rumor that's supposedly going around is, I cheated on him, which led him to kill himself. I want to clear up that I never cheated on him. Don't believe everything you see on the internet. You guys are just blaming me and accusing me. Like, come on, man, I have feelings too. I told Deshaun I didn't want to be in a relationship no more. Nothing with cheating happened, and I guess it hurted him a lot because it's a hurt break. And then people are telling me, well, Nicole, you should have stayed with him. You want me to fucking lie about my feelings to someone? She went on to say that she couldn't pretend she was in love with someone she didn't love. She expressed that she was sad about his passing and was just unlucky to find herself in that situation. Y'all want me to pretend that I like someone just to stay with someone? Nope. 
You would want to be honest. And that's what I did. I was honest. I'm just extremely unlucky that he died. If you were in a relationship and wanted to break up with someone, you would do it, correct? Not lie emotions and tell them I like you every day when you really don't. You would want them to be honest. It's not my fault he took away his life. I just wanted to end a relationship, just like a regular human being would. Reaction to Lil Loaded's death The news of his death spread rapidly on Twitter with many expressing their feelings. One user wrote, RIP Lil Loaded, not gonna sit here and say I was a fan and listened to him a lot, but it still sucks to see someone with so much talent be gone. Another user said, this is some bullshit. I was just bumping my Lil Loaded yesterday, fam. Damn, bro, rest easy. Stanley Gabart, whose production company worked with Epic Records on the rapper's music, said that Lil Loaded's death was a shock to him. This kid was on a great path, the production company owner told Dallas News. He was struggling with some things we wish we would have known about, wish we could have intervened, he also said. Previous times that Lil Loaded had been shot. Before his tragic death in 2021, Lil Loaded was previously shot in July 2020, and fortunately for him, he survived. While at the hospital, he made a live video on Instagram where he pinned a comment that read, Your boy done got shot. He went on to show his hip, which was still bloody underneath the sheets, as he assured his fans that he was fine and the shooters couldn't get him. Yeah, on gang man, we good, he said. We good. Gotta do better than that, though, he wrote on Twitter later that day. Lil Loaded Rise to Fame Deshaun Maurice Robertson, aka Lil Loaded, was reportedly worth $400,000 before his death. The rapper, born in California on August 1st, 2000, moved to Dallas, Texas with his family when he was young. He was best known for his songs Block Baby, Gang Unit, and Link Up. He started rapping in 2018 and became prominent when a YouTuber named Tommy Craze posted a reaction video about his song Block Baby. The Dallas rapper was up and coming and became a YouTube sensation after releasing his song Block Baby in 2019. The song received over 10 million streams on Spotify and 7 million plays on SoundCloud. And he also released an album, A Demon in Blue, in October 2020, which peaked at number 19 on the top Heat Seekers chart. However, Dallas-based rapper Lil Loaded died just days after his hit 2019 song, Block Baby, was certified gold. Do you think the rapper took his own life intentionally because of his relationship issues? That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Also, don't forget to smash that like button and leave a comment down below. Thanks.